In this lecture, we'll be starting with databases. Python by default comes with SQLite database and the SQLite is cross-platform database. So here in this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can connect to SQLite, how we can create a table, insert some records to that table and uh, how we can select those records, how we can count the total number of records in table and finally how we can drop that table that we have created. So starting with connecting to the SQLite database, the first thing that we need to do is creating an instance. So we'll have to import SQLite 3. Once we have done that, we'll be making use of SQLite 3.connect and here this is the name of the file that will be created. So I'm just saying it as Python database. So short form for that is pydb.db. Obviously db is the extension of that file. Then we have to create a cursor and for that we'll make use of the db instance. So db.cursor will return us a cursor. Using that cursor we can execute queries and these are simple SQL queries. So here what we are doing is drop table if exists user. So if user table already exists, it will drop that and it, it will create a fresh. So here we are saying create table user and then here you can see we are specifying the primary key ID which is of data type integer. Then we are saying string first name and string last name. We are then closing this whole thing and next statement that we are doing is inserting records in that table that we created. So here we are saying cursor.execute and then insert into user and then you can see two parameters string comma string that is for first name and last name respectively values John and Doe. You don't have to specify the value for column ID because that's an integer primary key and it will have an auto increment value. Next we are just committing it using the db.commit. So remember cursor is used to execute the queries but when you have to commit this whole thing you need to go with the db instance so db.commit. Next what we are doing is counting the total number of records that we have inserted obviously for now we are just inserting one record so we are saying over here cursor.execute select count star means all so select count all from a user table and whatever is the result we are assigning to count so for that cursor provides a method called fetch1 so here if I Show you the intelligence. So here we have fetch all, fetch many, and fetch one. In this case, we have to use fetch one, and then the at index position zero, the count value will be available, and that is what we are assigning to the count variable. And then we are printing it out. Next, we are looping through all the records that are there in the user table and printing it row by row. So we're saying for row and cursor dot execute, select all from user, and then print row. And finally, here I've commented this one for now because we need to show the file that will get created by db.db. And here what we are doing is cursor.execute drop table user and then finally closing it. Here I have made a mistake actually. So the first name column will come first and then the data type of it will appear. And same goes with last name as well. So here we'll have that and let's save this now and here we'll have to specify the first name and last name and here you can see the output is now coming up as connecting to sqlite server that is the first statement then it says create db now when it says create db if i show you the files the name is pydb.db so here you can see this is the file that is created py.db and the contents obviously cannot be shown over here but you get the idea that this is a file that gets created and everything that we are inserting updating is inside this file now so that's what it is when we say db is equal to sqlite3.connect by db.db next what we are doing is inserting some records and committing it so insert record is this first name last name john doe and here we are saying total record count one and then we are doing the select operation here you can see the row is printed as a set one john doe and one is the primary key then we have the 
drop so for dropped all i need to do is just write drop table user now if i execute this it has deleted that table and every time when you will run this one it is going to delete the user table if it exists and then create it fresh so that was how to work with sqlite and python